Elite universities champion their arts programs as centers of creative expression. But despite interest in the arts, campus career fairs are filled with recruiters from business-centric organizations. So are schools pushing students toward careers in finance and consulting while leaving those interested in the creative industries behind. So I want to first go to you, Oz. I have this article you wrote at the top of the new year called Representing a Full Range of Careers for the Daily Princetonian, where you complain about showing up at a career fair, going to the career services, and not seeing really any help for those looking for a career in culture and the arts. Explain to me what happened, your process towards putting this piece forward. I'm a sophomore at Princeton studying history, and my friend Kemi and I wanted to write that article because we both are really serious about pursuing the creative arts and felt like there weren't that many opportunities for us. Um, so after publishing the article, we actually had a really positive experience. A lot of alumni have reached out to us and express their support for our desire to pursue the creative arts, as well as we've been having extensive meetings with career services who have hmm. become really receptive to the discussion that we want to have, which is, you know, beyond just career services, why is the culture of, you know, an elite university like Princeton pushing people towards careers, um, hmm. notably in finance, um, instead of presenting a full range of careers, such as careers in the arts and the nonprofit sector and in all of the other sectors that are out there. I'm curious with you, Solomon, you want to be a, uh, a, a composer, you're interested in composition, and you're at Columbia. Did you enter Columbia knowing you wanted to be a, uh, wanted to go into composition? Yeah, I did. Um, and, can you hear it okay? I can hear you loud and clear, Solomon. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I entered Columbia. Um, I was did a lot of instrumental composing in high school, and when I got here, I discovered that Columbia has a really amazing theater and student theater program, um, and I started getting involved writing uh, musicals here, and I really enjoyed that and hope to go into that either on the composing or the or orchestrating side. Mm. And I've had a lot of positive experiences here on sort of a student-run level of being involved with musicals and getting to do full productions. Um, and there's a lot of support from the university in that way. But I definitely agree with what Ozzo was saying in terms of there's not necessarily a support system in place for going forward into the arts. And I think that's something that um, Columbia can perhaps provide in a slightly different way. I think for me it's really important that while um, it is a little bit risky, I've received only really positive feedback from the Princeton alumni that have reached out to me and that I've reached out to. Um, my favorite documentary filmmaker, Andrew Jarecki, is an alum of Princeton. And I do think that although it's a little bit less structured um, mm. and there's no one coming to campus um, offering me dinner and saying, would you like to direct a film? Because that would be really wonderful. Um, but I do think that it's still really important for me at least to gain all the skills that I can at Princeton. Um, I'm a history major. I'm spending a lot of time in archives and doing other things. And whatever I can gain from this education, I'd like to go out into the world and try what I love. I want to go to a comment here from Sam Wu. It's a video comment. Let's, uh, let's give this a look. Here he is. Hi, my name is Sam Wu, an aspiring composer at Harvard College. Being at a school with so many diverse students, artists here gain a very realistic perspective on what life may have in store for us. However, the very well-rounded student population also means that there is an emphasis on keeping arts as only serious hobbies, which is different than what some of us envision. That is one challenge we need to navigate through here, particularly in context of the absence of arts representation in career fairs. Composer to composer, Solomon, what do you think? Yeah, I definitely agree with that. I think there, you know, there are so many people here that see the arts as an important part of their experience in college, whether they want to go into it or not. And I think, um, going back to what I was saying before, I think it's also about the culture of the school. And um, I think Columbia's culture, especially usually with the core curriculum, which is a humanities-based program in philosophy and literature that dates back over 100 years, that isn't about, you know, necessarily gaining any practical skill that will lead directly to a job the way that, you know, a finance course might be. And I think, you know, um, having skills in the arts and seeing it, that is more than just a hobby, but also something that makes a more well-rounded person and a 
um, gives you a deeper understanding of, you know, in other areas is important for changing that culture of not just being focused on taking classes that will directly lead to a certain field next year, but using your college experience at a time to expand your knowledge in multiple areas.